Oh, God. And how old? Yeah. Three days old, right? Yeah. You want him to just walk? Yeah, I want to see what he does with it. Be free. Mojo. Mojo. No. Mojo. He's cleaner when he eats. Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Mark here, and some exciting news. We just got a little baby in, and we're giving him or her, I think it's a her, uh, first bottle. Hold it down for us. And how old? Three days old, right? Yeah. You got a little heart on the head. You gotta get it in there. Here, hang on. <sighs> I know. Well, that's good stuff. Oh. <laughs> Get over here. Oh my god. <laughs> we have our professional cowgirl here. <laughs> she should be able to make it work. Right? <laughs> Back them into a corner. <laughs> Look at the tongue. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> you gotta put your head up. Yeah. You always put your hand on their nose and they lift it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you remember this years ago, Renee? Yeah. I don't miss it. I do it every day. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, well, when we had the, uh, what were the two that we had years ago? Mojo and Bubbles. Bubbles. Bub was it Bubbles? Yeah, it was Bubbles. Yeah. Mojo. Mojo. No. Mojo. He's cleaner when he eats. And they got little teeth now. You want to take a break? Or more? <laughs> no, not this. What? Oh, this is back in here. Mark. So that is four uh, four liters, right? Four quarts. Four quarts. Pints. 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 I, don't, I think it's similar. <laughs> four it pints. It says pints, that's why. Uh, can't really get a good shot of them. Her. Her. Do we know it's a her? Yeah. Renee double checked. Okay. There we go. Yeah, because they want to... You should call her Bug. Oh. Love Bug. They call, the girl that brought her called her Olivia. Ah. So... You know when the nose sweats that they're... Olivia. Is that what we're going with? Olivia. Yeah. Olive. Well, I said throw out some names in there. We'll see which one fits the best. Actually, she kind of looks like all about Popeye. <laughs> oh, sucking air. Sucking air. Yeah, now she knows what's going on. So we'll on. try to get, him on the bo get her on a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Bucket like that. Oh, she likes that. Uh, it's warm on the belly. And this is real milk from a cow, not powdered. Yes. Got some col colostrum in it. So olive, if that's what we're going with. Olive? Olivia. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said olive. Um, oh, yeah, so is, see what uh, fits. was, I guess, rejected by uh, her mom. So, um, orphaned. <laughs> What? Damn so we brought her up. in here, and she is now three days old. Almost done. Yeah. What do you think? I've done this. This is the third time I've done this today. It's hard on your back, yeah. eh? I lean on the gate, though. Yeah. <laughs> Frothy. Here, if you do that, she yeah, we'll try to, get, uh, try to get her feeding out of a bucket. Yeah. 
Almost done. The milk's but done. Uh, we want to get something in her to make sure <laughs> yeah. a little bit more. she is healthy. And then once her uh, her poops are good, we can then uh, try the uh, try the bucket. See what she does with that. All right, all done. <laughs> and now now she's gonna be like, boy, yeah, I want boy. more. <laughs> with my mommy. <laughs> You're gonna knock me over. <laughs> you're gonna knock me. Uh, oh, you're a crazy girl. Well, she, the girl said it was the first time she saw her jump too. Oh, really? We're gonna refill all the feet. <laughs> so this is what we see during the winter when it's like, well, it's six o'clock now. It's dark. It usually gets dark around 4.30. So it's uh, Saturday evening and we're going out to, uh, to film the feed. So we got Tara and Tiana here. Uh, and Tara's got a jacket we're gonna try on somebody as well. Um, so the girl in the video there, and actually she was in both videos from 2016 as well, uh, so that's Renee, so she is, uh, uh, we did fostering years ago, so she was one of, uh, she's one of our kids. One of our girls, so one she's she's by here regularly. Um, so just in case you're wondering about that, as well as the name. So you guys have been putting a bunch of names in, uh, so Olivia is the name that she came in with and I'm gonna go into the dark here uh, And we're going to uh, we're gonna go with Cora. So which is Cora zone, which is the uh, Spanish for heart uh, So we decided to go with that. So uh, Cora is uh, is her uh, her new name And here she is I didn't put feet up to him. Now there was a comment um, saying that, oh, she looks pretty thin. Well, cows do look pretty thin, especially dairy cows. Uh, they can be pretty thin on the back end, but she's actually got really good weight to Cora. her. Cora! Cora! What'd you bring me? That's not he a He says, cow. what is that? <laughs> so we want to switch her over, uh, try to get her into a pail. She's taken the bottle very well now. And now that we're, the original bottles we were giving her were actually straight milk from an, other Jersey cows. Um, now that we've gone to powdered, uh, we will add the apple cider vinegar. So it's just to, for gut health. Uh, one of our followers uh, mentioned that. And uh, yes, we are aware of that. Prevent scours. Good gut health. Yeah, she's really, uh, really doing good now. Yeah, yeah. I should almost make the hole bigger so she can. Yeah, drink when they suck yeah. a lot, they'll uh, they'll decompress the the bottle, the the bottle and the nipple, and then it makes it harder. So you need to maybe, you want yeah, disconnect and then reconnect. No, I'll do it in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be careful. So, ow. Um. I brought a towel for your milk stash. Yeah, the slimies. Look at the eyeballs. Yeah. It's like, this is intense. Yeah. This is so business. she's uh, she's eating twice a day. Yeah, two pints of feeding. Four, four pints. Uh, four pints. Oh, sorry, four pints. Two, two and a half liters, two and a half quarts. Yeah, I went yeah. over that earlier in the video. I, I put down all four the... Four pints, uh, two liters, or 1.9 liters. Actually, Google said it was 2.4. Yeah, anyway, I'll put it back up on the screen. <laughs> I just did it for milk. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. One Four point. pints is 1.89 liters. And, the, of course, the milk directions are per liter. So. Okay, well, I'll have to check that. 150 grams powder to one liter of milk water. So it better be right or else we Good thing I put vinegar in. <laughs> well, or else it's uh, yeah, it would be it would be a little thicker. Yeah, flat nipple. Oh, Got her leg oh. stuck. Yep, there yeah, we go. she right right on this corner yeah, here. I'll take that off. <laughs> it was there for a rabbit, so they couldn't get yeah. out while the gate shut. Yeah, yeah, the opening. And then of course there's her little Cora. Right? <laughs> it's gonna be Cora. Yeah. <laughs> and so far, it looks like we have five possible homes to choose from. Yes, yeah. So we will be, that was another question. Are you keeping her? So we will be keeping her over the winter. 
Uh, and then come spring, summer, when everything kind of melts and warms up, then we will uh, we'll rehome her. And the reason for this is um, we have to deal with what's called AU units here on the farm. You're allowed so many AU units per acre. And an AU unit is basically a poop unit. So each animal, animal waste. has, yeah, an animal waste unit. Um, so each animal has a different AU unit and cattle, I believe, are the highest. Uh, I believe they have an AU unit of two. two. Yeah. So if we were to keep Cora here on the farm, we would actually have to get rid of probably all the alpaca yeah. <laughs> because the alpaca have the, the little pellets and it's a different type of poop. So they fall under a different AU unit. Um, so yes, we would like to keep a lot of the animals that come through, but we have to, to manage our space. Yeah, we have to manage our space to be able to bring in the animals that we do, and then we find good homes. It would so, also yeah. have to do with a lot of the land to keep her. Yes. Because they're more yeah. of a prairie grassland grazing, whereas we're more bush tree. Yeah, land. we're the ten acre woods, not the ten acre prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the other thing is, um, so the other cattle that we had, which was Bubbles and, 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 Mujo. and, and Mujo, actually it was Midget slash Bubbles, because yeah. I think you had initially called that one Midget. Yeah. Um, those two went off to a 4-H group, uh, so when they were a little bit older, they went off to there, and then we've had... Uh, yeah, Renee brought them home. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Renee, yeah, Renee's Renee. been working f with cattle uh, for years now. She's changed jobs, but she oh. keeps she keeps going back. She just loves the job, and you know, if you love what you do, then that's what you do. And so. Get your poopies out. Yeah. Yeah. Get the poopies out. So yeah, twice a day. Oh, you letting the uh, the other ones in? They're probably yeah, waiting. They're probably waiting. Well, you guys want to come out of here first, or? Oh, yeah, we could be in well, here. Yeah, because we're gonna have to put the jacket. Oh yeah. Okay, which okay last. so yeah. Tara has this jacket. I'll stay in here. <laughs> She's got this jacket that she made out of a jacket. Okay, grab the bottle. Um, for the alpaca. So we are going to uh, try that on. Here they come. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, keep going. Go to the next one. Just keep moving down. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you looking for something, Cora? <laughs> okay, here we go. Jockey for position. Which bowl are they going to? Yeah, I know. She's, uh, she's sticking her head there. I think I'm safe. She's still pretty small. Once she gets a little bit taller, then that might be an issue. I got mom in the gut yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's wanting the she's wanting the milk. So she's like, where do you get milk out of this thing? See the head go up? <laughs> that was my knee, so I'm I'm pretty safe. Right? Yes, I'm pretty safe. <laughs> okay, the pushiness Whoa! has started. Yeah, Shanzi's not happy. <laughs> uh, we need a bigger barn. <laughs> uh, so one concern we have is, so Pedro and Juanita, which is here, they're the last ones that came in and they were sheared. You can see how it's a little bit thinner on Pedro uh, than it is here on Jasper. Uh, Jasper was sheared in the spring, and these guys were sheared kind of mid to late uh, summertime. So there was just some concern with that, and of course um, that's one of the main reasons that and predators um, was the reason why we closed them into the shelter. Pedro, what's going on? He doesn't know what to do. He's like, yeah, let me out of here with these crazy alpaca. Right? I have <laughs> what no do you idea think? how this is going to go. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, we hey, want we out first. too. <laughs> yeah, as long as you grab their neck, uh, you okay. can you can control Pedro's them. Being pushier. You can control them pretty good. Pedro's being pushier. There we go. Good boy. Oh, dad. Oh, dad. 
So she's sewn, uh, she's taken apart the jacket. Hey, Pedro. And she's kind of sewn it together here. Hi. Hi. Just to get the right sizing. Yeah, but it's too far Well, back. yeah, it looks like you could actually have it a little bit shorter. Yeah. You want it covering a little bit of the butt? What? You want it covering a little bit of the butt? Well, but the neck is too yeah. high, but. So, more so at this line. So about two inches down right here. That's, that's the base of his neck. I've also ordered two to get the pattern, but. Oh, you've ordered a couple jackets, okay. <laughs> yeah, can, can you let him just go that way? You want him to just walk? Yeah, I want to see what he does with it. Be free. Oh, looking sharp. What? You're fine. <laughs> now he's shaking. <laughs> what did you do to me? And cut the... But it, you're right. It could Pedro. go back further. Yeah. And if you curve the bottom... Almost. Or just left it long like that and put another one up here. It's, yeah, I think those hooks, the hooks, though, I think work good. Okay. I just want to go outside. <laughs> okay, Pedro. You're fine, Pedro. Uh. Back off. <laughs> I should, you know, so she gets used to let her walk around for a bit. Oh, oh what was that? You yeah, just about got it. I think, uh, <laughs> Grab her as she goes by because it's slipping. <laughs> you can slip it off of her. Yeah. I just want to give her a chance to. Pedro, you're fine. I know, you're fine. It's a sheepskin coat. You'll appreciate it. I guess I'm not hiding in there anymore. They've moved. We got two yesterday. Well, look okay, at there's a little door, mouse door over there. They chewed a hole. Really? Yeah. Oh, that goes through underneath. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see just that little uh, spot underneath there. <laughs> okay. Well, and it's because we've been storing the hay in here. Now the hay is gone from here, so we'll be able to uh, to get them. <laughs> What are you kids doing? Well, hello, Sheldon. People love it when you do that. Round and round and round he goes. Where he'll stop, nobody knows. <laughs> That's his main move. There we go. <laughs> Onyx is like, I'm out of here. I'll just eat hay. Here we go. They're fed. How are you guys doing? The calm chirp of the guinea fowl. Oh, how soothing. Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Ah, uh, then we have our pea fowl. How are you guys making out? I just got pecked. What are you girls doing? I saw some eggs in there I need to grab. 
In here? Yeah. Well, I can go in and grab uh, them. They're not going to like you while going in with your camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to sneak in under them and okay. go slow. We'll watch you sneak. <laughs> Tiana's on a mission. Because they, they jump. Yeah, no sudden movements where they get excited and you don't want huge wings flapping at you. <laughs> Well, oh, because there's not a lot of space in here for them to run away. No. Okay, what'd you get? Five? Six? Yeah, five? Five. Right. Good job, girls. Good job. Okay, out of the way. You good? You got them all? Nope. Oh, you're putting them in your pockets. Hey, don't hey. She just broke it. Oh, her. no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Going for your hand, I take it? Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. protective one in there. Yeah, Got she the broke egg. it. Oh, well. Every time I go to get eggs. Okay, we got the pigs here. They're eating. Turbo. Yes, we saw Turbo as uh, at the end of that 2016 video I pointed out. Uh, that's when Turbo and Tinker were in. So that was a baby Turbo. <laughs> and of course, this is a full grown Turbo. Uh, so we've got the girls here. We had them up front uh, with the boys. So they're now back. So we, we got four that we'll be expecting the beginning of April. And uh, who is this? This is uh, JJ and Willow in here. Uh, we have uh, what looks like... T oh, that's George. That's George. And this is probably Tinker. Tinker? That's Tinker. Uh, and that's it. And then we've got the other ones in here. So they're all eating. So we've got uh, Skunk. We've got Sue. Uh, we have Leo and we have Edward. Alright, here we go. Here, Billy. There we go. There we go. That's how you get them out. Out from a long slumber. Except Levi, he's staying inside. Well, I, hate, I, hate, I actually don't <laughs> like eating at night. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Well, they've got something there now. So that's a midnight snack, right, Levi? Yeah, now you come out. Oh, and there's Meadow. So Carl and Daisy are probably out in the, uh, in the far one there. Yeah, I can see a, a silhouette out there. <laughs> All right, so the ducks and the geese, get them water. All the, uh, the roosters are getting up, roosting. And there's one of the little rabbits in there, one of the boys. And the pigeons over here. Can you bring the swipe out? Yeah. Sorry, boys. And all the geese and ducks. Yeah, maybe we need to put out some more uh, roosts since we're getting... Uh... They're going up here now. Are they actually going up yeah. there? There was one roosting there yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah, we could actually put a bar across these uprights. Ah, we'll have to play around with that. Oh, yeah, the little ones. They greet you at the door when you come in. Yeah. <laughs> so they're getting some water. Uh, so there's two water containers, one uh, one on each side, one here on this side. There's Fernando, and then the other one's over on this side. Here, which are the two? Yeah, the pigeons. Uh... <laughs> this is mine, mine, mine. And then of course we've got these waters out here as well. So we've got a number of water. Um, we put a little bit in each one. They drink it down. Uh, if we do get any ice buildup, which we usually do during the colder temperatures, uh, if we put a little bit too much, then we'll just empty those upside down, uh, knock out the block, uh, and then uh, start over again. Oh, don't step on the oh. Hi. 
Hi, little guy. What are you doing? Hi. They finished getting water. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're now they're all full of water. They're all hydrated. Uh, so that is it for this video. Uh, everybody's fed and Cora has got a full belly. Uh, so if you have any questions about, uh, about Cora or any of the other animals or really anything else uh, that you can think of, please let us know down in the comment section. If you want to see that video from 2016 uh, with uh, Midget and Mujo, uh, you can click right up here. And have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.